new look 665 one so along episode zero episode one are already live on the channel hopefully you've seen those already if you've missed it i will have in the description box links to both of those where you can learn everything up until uh the steps uh, that we're going to go over today, which are the casing, the skirt, and the pockets. So sizing, alterations, fabric cutting tips, and bodice and sleeves um, are what we've covered so far. So without further ado, we have a lot to cover today. I'm going to go ahead and take you over to my cutting table where we're going to talk about the casing. And then I got a lot of really great tips and tricks for pockets. And then we'll get our skirt sewn up as well. So let's get to it. All right. So our very first step in today's kind of set of lessons is to deal with this casing. So this is your casing pattern piece. You can see you just caught one from the fabric, no interfacing, and then there is this long edge that has no dots or notches. That's what we are going to be focusing our attention on first. Uh, I have my fabric right side up. So I need to turn it to the wrong side. And then the long unnotched edge is actually this one here that's facing up. So they want us to turn that under by 3 eighths of an inch. And guess how we are gonna do that? Do you know by now? We are going to take that 3 eighths of an inch, I'm just flipping this around because it makes more sense to me to have it on the bottom. Um, we're gonna double it, that's 3 quarters of an inch, and we are going to draw in a line at the three quarter inch mark all the way down the length of our casing. That way, when we fold up our raw edge to meet with this chalked line, that will be our perfect three eighths turned up kind of little hem that they want us to do. Right. So when you have your casing pressed, this is what it should look like. And now we are going to be able to attach this to our bodice. And look how cool this little system is that they are showing us. So I'm just gonna open out my bodice completely and I'm going to lay it flat so that I have as much of my waist seam um, exposed as possible. Now we are gonna take our casing. We are going to lay it wrong sides together. So this is the inside of my bodice. This is the inside of my casing and those two things get matched up together. Now it's just a matter of matching up all of our raw edges and our um, notches and dots and everything else that they have um, provided for us to help make sure that this is even. All right, and once you have all of your notches and dots matching, you can come in here and fill this in a little bit if you want. So the next few steps are all going to be to create the sort of channels for our elastic. So what they want us to do is to sew a straight line. Uh, well, first of all, you're going to base this. So base this down, and then I'm going to use that to make sure that this casing is nice and flat and come over here and stitch this side down. So you're gonna have basting here, stitching here, securing the casing completely. Then you're gonna come in and you are gonna stitch along the dashed stitching line. So the best way for me to do that, and I'll show you more at the machine, is to go ahead and put a little notch into the casing and then I'll be able to measure from one edge or the other so that I have an even uh, stitching line all the way across. So let's head to the machine and I'll show you how to get all of this stitched down perfectly. Okay, so our first step is gonna be pinging up our stitch length to the largest one there is, mine's 5.0. And then we are going to run that raw edge through the machine at our 5 8 inch seam allowance. All right, so that is basted together. We're gonna ping back down to our regular stitch length. Okay, so now putting the garment back through the machine again at a regular stitch length, what we're going for here is to make sure that the placket is nice and flat. We have the basting stitches as an anchor and we just wanna smooth this out and get it into our machine and we're gonna stitch very, very close to the folded edge that we have here. And just go nice and slow and just make sure that the casing is laying fat flat 
and that nothing is bubbling up or shifting too, too much. Okay, so now we have our casing attached. So you can see here we have like a little hole, but since we have two rows of elastic going into this casing, we need to sew another row of stitches um, in the middle so that it provides two channels for our two elastics. And as I showed you before, I made a little marking, goodness, I made a little marking where the stitching line begins on the casing piece. So you can see that here, see that little, notch there so I know that that is where my stitching line for the other elastic should be if you forget to cut this it's also half the distance between your basting stitches and the folded edge of your casing so I'm going to put this in my machine dropping my needle right where that um, notch is and I can see that my basting stitches are lining up with the one inch mark and my uh, raw edge is lining up with the four centimeter mark. So I am just going to follow that four centimeter mark all the way down, making sure that it stays in line all the way down. And as I'm coming down to the other end, I'm noticing that my needle is still in line with that little notch that I put um, into the casing. So we have two one inch channels. Obviously, if you don't like this method and you want, I just don't like to draw on my fabric if I can help it. Um, so this was a way for me to not have to chalk onto my fabric and then worry about if it's gonna come out, if it's gonna be visible, all of that kind of stuff. So we have our beautiful casing and now it's time to work on our skirt. So I have done just a teeny bit of prep work um, and that is just to finish off the kind of like bottom half of the pocket. Um, so you're gonna want to surge or however you're finishing your raw edges, you're gonna want to do that um, along this bottom edge, stopping somewhere before your notch. I know it looks a little bit funny now, but I promise this will all make sense later. Um, so go ahead and do that. And then our next step is to apply these pockets to our garments. So if you cut out sell fabric and aligning fabric like I did, then there's a right way and a wrong way to apply like which pocket goes where. So this is my back pattern piece. The back pattern piece is what gets the self fabric. So you were gonna lay these down, right sides together, matching up your waistband raw edge and the circles and dots and notches and all that stuff that we put into the side seam. Same thing for the other side of the back pocket piece. It is the raw edge, notches, dots, all of that stuff um, lined up here. And then you're gonna uh, stitch this on at a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Then take it to your serger or however you're finishing your garment and go ahead and serge off this entire raw edge as well. All right, so that's the step for the back. Then, as you can imagine, the same exact thing happens for the front, except the front gets the lining fabric. Now, it's also pretty important to <laughs> identify which is the center front and which is your side seams. That'll make it a little bit easier for you, but obviously you still have those notches and dots in the, um, in the cut edge as well. So this one goes here and this one goes here and again we're stitching at 3 8 inch seam allowance and then we're finishing off the raw edges front skirt pieces there's two of them and your one back piece that is cut on the fold All right, while we're st still over here at the machine, I'm gonna talk you through step 10, which is understitching. Now, this is not something I normally see in pattern pocket 
uh, construction. So I'm a little bit excited, but also kind of like, is this really necessary? But we're going to do it anyways, because that's what the instructions say to do. So I like to do my understitching with the right sides facing up. Basically, you have your seam allowances and your pocket is turned over top of the seam allowances. So it's pocket piece then your seam allowances are under it right here, meaning the seam allowances are not turned underneath the skirt, which would look like that. Instead, they're turned underneath the pocket, which would look like this. And we are gonna stitch right along that seam line, right between the teal and the navy. And when you're done, it looks like this right? And then on the back side, you have basically your seam allowances stitched to the pocket. That is understitching. Okay, so the next step is to attach the front and the back together. So I'm going to show you one side and then you guys can um, just kind of rinse and repeat for the other side. All right, so what we wanna do is line up. I've got my back skirt face up, my front skirt face down. So we're matching up the side seams, which is what we just sewed, right? So I've got those serger stitches right on top of each other here. And then we need to come down and it's a little bit hard to see now because we've surged and we've understitched. If you need to keep your pocket piece handy and you can identify where the big circle is. And you just wanna put a pin in that because that is where we're gonna be stopping our stitching along the top portion of this. We're gonna do the same thing at the bottom. We're going to align the side seams. And then we are going to uh, mark where that, um, that dot is, just so we know where to start our stitching down here. So when we get to our machine, we're gonna start sewing at the uh, waist seam, and we are gonna stitch down to that big dot. But we are not stitching, like what is your seam allowance, right? It's very confusing. So because we already stitched the pocket to the skirt at a 3 8 inch seam allowance, that is what this row, like the for the most inside edge of my serger stitching, that is the 3 8 inch mark. So we need to come one quarter inch outside of that and that would have given us our 5 8 inch seam allowance. So you take the 3 8 plus one quarter, that equals 5 8. So this little portion here is gonna get one quarter inch outside the serger stitches. Then we're gonna do the same thing down here where we are going to start at the hem of the skirt, again, sewing at that quarter inch from the edge of the serger stitches, and we are gonna sew all the way up to the other big circle where I've pinned this here. We're gonna back stitch at both big circles just to make sure that they are nice and secure and never come undone. So we're gonna do that for the left side and the right side of the skirt, and then, while we are over there at the sewing machine, I'll talk you through this too, we're also going to sew 5 eighths of an inch all the way around our pocket bag. Then we are going to finish off the seam allowance of our pocket bag. Again, I'm using a serger, which is why we needed to go ahead and serge this little corner here. Because if we hadn't done that, getting your serger into this little area is just very well virtually impossible so because we've kind of like pre-surged um, we can just start our surging here pick up where we left off and then carry it on through and surge off the edge here so this will be um kind of loose but from here around it will be surged together it creates less bulk this way less kind of like I don't know, floppy, weird stuff, but I like to try and get as much of it together as possible, so. Bag, so again, we are starting 
Now this is all gonna be 5 eighths of an inch, so we don't have to do any fancy, weird calculations for this. Just make sure your raw edges are nice and close and you need to start your needle at that seam that we just sewed, at the side seam. Drop your needle there, come in, back stitch, and then come around your pocket. Okay, the last step for this pocket is to secure the pocket to the front of the skirt. Because we don't want, I mean, obviously we've got to, you know, attach all this to our, uh, our bodice. And so we want to go ahead and just base this in to make sure it's going to stay in the right place and, um, you know, not bunch up or have any weird issues when we go to attach that bodice. So turn your pocket piece toward the skirt, uh, toward the front of the skirt. Incidentally, the lining piece will be what is against the front of the skirt. So um, lining to the wrong side of the skirt. Just drop this in here, ping up to a basting stitch, and just baste all this together. Okay, and that's that. You can go give this a really good press now, clip all your threads, your serger threads, and all of that. But I will um, do that and then show you the final result, which is honestly just so beautiful um, over at the cutting table. Okay, and at your, make sure you guys can see this, at your um, ironing board, you're going to press open the seam allowances from the hem up to the pocket. And then because the pocket is attached here, it does produce this kind of weird thing the instructions will have you like snip into this i just hate that because now you have like a raw edge of fabric that isn't finished and over time like what's going to happen to that yeah you could put some phrase stop on it but i don't know in my opinion i would just rather avoid cutting into the fabric if i can so i just kind of do this weird like catty corner fold <laughs> and then press up the rest of your pocket press all this flat i meant to trim this and then from the right side you can see our pocket is perfectly concealed inside our garment and when you peek in all you see is the fashion fabric you don't see the lining fabric at all um, because we sewed the pockets on at three eighths of an inch and then the regular seam allowance at five eighths of an inch, you can see you have this little kind of buffer, which is why I kind of feel like the understitching is a little bit unnecessary. But listen, I am all for like just being extra precautious, I guess. So really, really beautiful side seam, love it. Um, now we all need to go do the other side of our skirt. Okay, moving right along, right? We've got a bodice and now we've got a skirt. <laughs> and tomorrow we're gonna be talking about that front button placket. So be sure to catch me here tomorrow where we will go over the next few steps in New Look 6651. See y'all tomorrow, bye.